Hi friends, my name is Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you today on this Tech Tip Tuesday a unique thing that I don't typically do. This contract requested wall framing details uh, on, this, on the uh, construction docks and so that's what I'm doing now. wanted to show you this kind of unique situation where I have set up Da, da, da. Let's show you. In order to do this case around the shower, I set up a new wall type here compared to this wall type. This has uh, drywall on the inside and this one does not. And so I just backed up a, a another interior wall without drywall with drywall on only one side so that the framing is butted right up against each other, right? Um, without that space in the middle. But when I do a wall framing detail, this is a separate detail from this one. So I want to show you how I get to communicating that efficiently and effectively without confusion on the plans. I'm just going to jump right into it. So I have set up a layer set, a saved plan view that has all the wall labels turned on. And you'll notice this is wall detail 39 and this is wall detail 26 because they are separate wall details. Um, and that wall detail just looks like this right here. So because they're in line, it's, it's extended the top plate and double plate and the base plate uh, halfway through that. Let's go back to, let's do this. halfway through the um, connector here for this uh, for, for this um, shower wall right um, so what I am doing is let's close this let's open that up and actually let's open up both of these here. Okay, I know this is four foot three. And in the layout, I've got my four foot three here, my eight foot two, and I'm just going to point to point move. Now, unfortunately, you cannot snap to these to these um, intersections. So you kind of have to um, guess here. So I'm looking at the top of the double plate and this edge of the stud and I'm going to align this right here with the top of the double plate and this edge of that flat stud and we've got to move it down just a smidgen right there we go okay so we go into 26 I'm going to delete this dimension in uh, 39 what I did was created just a CAD line four foot three away so I all the dimensions are over here um, and then I'm going to go to my layout there we go we've got the two lined up here um, having these double titles doesn't quite make sense so I'm going to select this one and turn off the label suppress the label here and I'm just going to slide this up so we get rid of that text and then I'm going to go back to plan view go to my CD plan 3 and I'm going to select this wall open that and we'll suppress the label on this one so it looks like this wall just has the wall label 39 wall detail 39 here Okay, so that looks like that's 19 feet long. Our layout shows 19 feet long. Our dimensions are there. It looks like all of that is good. Now, the only thing would be the uh, this this line doesn't make sense in the in the top of double and base plates. So maybe I go back to. Uh, this and we'll just draw a polyline 
like so. I'm going to drag it to the end of this four foot three. I'll give it a solid fill with a custom color right there. So that looks accurate. I'm going to copy that down to the base plate and I'm going to copy it up to the double plate and move this over three and a half and bring this one back here uh, to here. There we go. So it looks accurate in this plan. Go back to layout. Oh, that should be more than three and a half. That's what it is. Five and a half, because this is an outside wall. There we go. Bingo, bingo. Now, it's not showing up on this one yet, because this, uh, this layout box is on top of this one. So we'll switch that by doing this. Draw View Draw Edit Order Tools, and we're going to bump that Bring Forward one. And there's covers that up. Now this looks like a single detail in, in the layout. It looks like a single detail in the plan. And we're all set. Now, the one thing I do have to do is clean this up. Because if we go back to working plan view here, I want this two by four wall to go all the way out uh, and the, this wall will be the half wall um, for, for the glass. Let's move this over here for now. I'm going to delete these studs because I don't want them in the, in the railing wall. I want, and you can delete and move things around in plan view or that wall detail view. Okay, now we're going to copy this one over here and turn it 90 degrees and move that right there. Now, when I select this and do my wall detail, I'm just going to take this uh, top plate and extend it on over here. Double plate, same thing. And base plate, finally the same. Now let's take a quick measurement from inside to outside. That should be, let's go back to plans, CD plan 3. Four foot one. Let's go to wall 38 and measure this. The thing you do have to remember when opening up these wall details. Uh, it's going, wanting to go to, okay, CD plan three, detail, layer set. There we go. Four foot. There we go, four foot one. That's the number we want. So when you're creating these, when you first open these details, you want to be in the correct plan um, because then it, it just, it uses the right uh, um, dimension defaults and text defaults and s such as that. So we're going to, I'm just going to do that dimension and then the base plate dimension. And there we have it. Uh, this has been kind of a unique thing for me. I've enjoyed uh, figuring it out and sharing with you the, the strategy I have. I hope you like it uh, and learn something. If you find value in this, would you consider a donation at paypal.me slash design build solutions? And always, I appreciate the encouragement of a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Take care. Have a great week.